Hello YouTube, yeah, it's Ryan back here again. Today I'm going to be doing a video about the about comparing the iPod the iPhone 2G on iOS 1.0 to the iPhone Pod Touch first generation running iOS 1.1. Both are their initial firmwares. And yes, that is a baby picture of me. Because I backed up my because I have to charge my iPhone 2G on my mom's old computer and I backed up all our old photos and one of them was of a baby me. So I'm gonna stop talking about myself and just get into it. So the first noble's noticeable difference you can see is the dock. Like the dock is very different because the iPod touch at the first was more media based. So it's got more media based apps right here, such as music videos, photos, and iTunes. Whereas on the phone, it's got phone, mail, safari, and me, an iPod. So I guess Apple will consider those your essentials. But now let's see. But now, as you can obviously tell from here, the home screens are also different. Whereas you get messages, calendar, photos, and camera, camera, YouTube, stocks, maps, weather, clock, calculator, notes, settings, phone, mail, safari, and iPod. Whereas on here you get Safari, YouTube, Calendar Context, Clock Calculator Settings, Music Videos, Foes, and iTunes. So it's a little different, but it's mostly the same. Eh, but it's my, and I'm fine. Odd that there's no notes and or weather here, but that this those apps did later get or stocks, but those later did get added on. But as you can tell, there is an iTunes store on the iPod Touch, and this is the very first version of where you didn't have to go on your computer first time that you didn't have to go on your computer in order to purchase iTunes music. And the music and videos apps are actually separated on the iPod Touch versus on the iPhone where on the iPod app you have to, you get both videos and music. And that remained the same for uh, until I was five when the iPod, iPhone got its own separate videos app. And the iPod also has its own separate contacts app for some reason compared to the iPhone, phone, which is built, has built into the phone app. And I'm not sure why that is because the because you can't call or text or email anybody yet on the iPod to, touching this version. So I'm guessing they must have been working on something. But I guess if you're trying to look up somebody and you're calling it on your like your flip phone or something. So most people didn't have the money yet the iPhone at the time, which was six hundred dollars. I guess maybe that's why people decided to go ahead and go and get the i iPod Touch so that way they could use it on their like current flip phone or Blackberry or whatever to look up a number on the iPod before calling it on the phone. I don't know. All the old, old iPods had contacts app. But they're weirdly enough on neither the iPhone nor the iPad are built bar pod or built-in games which were included on the other iPods at the time so I'm not sure about that but on you get full but the there are some apps that are the same like calendar clock calculator and settings they can't move around the apps or anything that didn't come until iOS 1.1.4 and yes, my iPod Touch screen is messed up. I know that. But you could actually do lots of stuff on both of these devices for like mini computers. And now let's do a mini speed test. So first up, I'm going to go into Safari. We're just going to go Google.com. 321. Oh, I forgot that it doesn't work on the... I don't have Wi-Fi on the phone, iPhone, but I do on the iPod, and as you can tell, it loaded. Let's try the music app, iPod app, music app on the iPod, iPod on the iPhone, 3, 2, 1. There is actually no multitasking on these devices. I think the iPhone did that faster. Now let's try iPod versus videos app. 3, 2, 1. I think both are about the same because these are both have the same chip in it. Let's try YouTube in three, two, one. This doesn't work anymore because it says both of these things.
And I can't go into... Let me just check the phone and make sure it won't go into my personal foes. Okay, it won't, so now we can do a foes app. Three, two, one. It's very similar to the iOS. And you actually have to sync foes with the iPod from iTunes. Like all iPods that could do a foe thing. Clock in three, two, one. And then the iPhone has this weird bug. But the iPod actually has its unique ringtones. This one's my favorite. You actually get some of the same You actually get some of the same ringtones on the iPhone 2G that you do now. And now let's try calculator and 321 the icons are different. Both, but they're both exactly the same. You couldn't rotate them to get a scientific calculator because that wasn't until iOS 2. Settings in 3, 2, 1. And there you go. You get a few lots of options on the iPhone compared to the iPod, which doesn't even have scrolling. That's how limited it was. The wallpapers on these things were beautiful were beautiful though and you actually got designated iPod wallpapers on here like this one which are generally very cool nothing really too nothing really too exciting there I don't know if I did calendar or not so I'm just not going to but now obviously now I'll do a separate video about whether iOS 1 is still usable or not but or no, I won't. But to answer your que questions, if you're wondering if it's still usable or not, no way is iOS 1 usable anymore. It's like 14 years old. So I can't expect to, for it to be usable anymore, but I just farted. So I might need to make a trip to the bathroom, but, or I do need to take a trip to the bathroom, but I hope you all really enjoy this video. And as always, peace out.